again, going back to the arm bar, uh, something that's gonna help you guys, especially starting out, is if you notice my hips are up, anytime you're, you're working in the guard, it's easier to transition to your tacks with your hips up, okay? If your hips are sagging, it's gonna be really hard for you to spin and move your hips out to attack, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross grab here behind the tricep. You know, last night we were in the gi, we were cross grabbing the sleeve, okay? I got his other hand here, I can hold down his head if I need to break his posture some more, okay? Same side I'm attacking, the foot goes in the hip, okay? I'm gonna spin on the small of my back as I do that, the leg comes up into his armpit, okay? I can use this hand now to push him away, but I keep all this nice and tight. This knee tight against the shoulder, so it's hard for him to escape. He can't pull out quite as easy, okay? Even all slick, okay? And then if I need to, I can push his head away as I bring my leg over. Now, a lot of times, guys get a bad habit of trying to stretch out when they get here to finish it, okay? Really, just take this leg here and try to put your heel to the mat, okay? All right, knees are squeezing together. All right, I've got this here nice and tight. Knees are squeezed together, I push them away, he taps, okay? I just push, he taps. The same thing when he starts to stack, which we'll go into later. As soon as he starts to stack up on me, if my reaction here is to push him away, I'm more likely to finish the submission before he can start working his escape. Got some straps, so if you do this to him, you gotta make sure, because he'll stack. That's all, if you move, Dino comes in. Uh, well, I'll do that again. <laughs> 